Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How y'all doing? Amen. Give praise to God. Amen. We honor him and his son. Yeah. We got some good news for you. All right. Beside Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's the great, greatest news I got. Amen. I got some good news. Amen. It's cool outside. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. I got some water out there. Yeah. yeah. So didn't that make you feel better? Amen. I know it didn't mean I feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. Well, we're blessed to be here tonight. Amen. How many of y'all know that? Amen. Amen. We are truly blessed to be here with by the grace of God yes. that He made us to be here. There were some people that started out mm-hmm. yesterday mm-hmm. anticipating today mm-hmm. and they never got here. By the grace of God, but I can't stick my chest out because it ain't because I've been so good. Mm-hmm. But it's because he looked beyond all my faults yes. and saw my needs. Yes. So I'm happy to be here. I want to, before we get started tonight, I want to thank all of you for your support this week. Uh, thank you for your prayers, those of you that were there and those of you who were not there. But you mentioned my name in your prayers. I thank you for that. And uh, we do appreciate it. Now I'm going to ask one of the brothers to give us a song. And then one of the brothers give us a prayer. Uh, and, well, I, I'll tell you what, I'm going to change up. I'm going to ask one of the sisters to give us a prayer. Amen. I mean, a, a, a song. Amen. I'm going to ask one of the sisters to give us a song. And then one of the brothers give us a prayer. Amen. I woke up this morning with my mind Eternally secure. It's in the love of God. 
God so loved the world. What did he do? He gave his only begotten son. Only begotten son. So whoever believed in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. Life. Right? Yes. So eternal security. So when all else fails, amen. I am eternally secure in him. Yeah. Amen. My, my, my money, my, all this stuff, you know, I, I feel good about it and all that, but anything can happen. The government can come in wrong. Mm -hmm. you know, they can pass a bill tomorrow and take all of it. Find Amen. Right. Like I said, you know, all those people who worked for the airport some years ago who had all their money tied up, and the government came in and took their money and said they were going to pay them back, and unfortunately, yet, I'm not going to pay back their 401k money, whatever they call it. So, uh, then it talks about a dispenser of grace. Now, we know what a dispenser does, right? Mm -hmm. I think in uh, the women's restroom, I, I believe in the men, I don't get to go on that one, but I know in mine, I have a dispensary. Right. Yeah. And what I do, I go to that dispensary and I push a button, or I pump it, and it, it sends forth whatever's on the inside right. of okay. that container. And so since I'm saved, mm. amen, mm -hmm. and I, I am in possession of grace. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so I am. I become a dispenser. Hello, somebody. I become a tool. Uh -huh. I become a piece of equipment that God can use for me to dispense grace to others who are in the body of Christ. Uh -huh. Right? We talked about the body. You know, we talked about unity in the body and how every member of the body works together. Right? Uh, there's no rogue body parts uh, in the real body. If, if your body got rogue parts, then you may be all over the place. Mm -hmm. okay. And then now some people, because of medical conditions, and I'm, I'm not making light of that, because their body is not in sync, uh, they have outbursts, uh, there are different names for these things, they talk and scream out and all these kinds of things because there are some medical problems with them that cause their body parts to act independent of the Yes, okay. So grace in the body of Christ, verse 10 and, and 10. Anybody got any questions thus far? This is all, I got to come to remind you, this is all about being in Christ, being a disciple of, of Jesus Christ. This is my, these are my identical marks. Okay? Uh, I was talking to somebody today about uh, knowing who you are. You know? Stop letting other people tell you who you are. And nobody should tell, they tell me who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. Amen. Blood born, blood baptized. Raised from oldness to newness, sanctified, justified in Christ. That's who I am. I was born with the name Lawrence Earl Russell Brown. I'm 5'7. I weigh 164 pounds. Mm. I'm a black man with short hair. Amen. So I know who I am. All of my moms are going to identify. If I die, First thing they're gonna wanna do, if they don't, if I don't have my ID, if I've been to the dentist, they're gonna send my dental work off and try to identify me. Amen. So these are my identified markers. Amen? Amen. Amen. So a dispenser of grace. Uh, what is grace? It is the unmerited favor, is that right? Mm -hmm. You can't work for grace. Mm -hmm. You can't earn grace. You can't pay for it, you can't charge it, you can't grow into it. It is a gift, right? Of God, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right? right? And we know what we do with gifts, right? We, when we give a gift, I do. I get excited about gifts. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I do is I say, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes. My mother wasn't, she didn't have no college education, but she taught us precepts and concepts mm -hmm. that would follow us the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm a smarter man because of what she taught me. Not because you know, I'm so Bible a student. I'm a smart man because she, those sage things that she taught me, the common sense, mother with things that she taught me, as a little, and it resonated with me then, and it much more resonates with me now. Amen. All right, the spiritual grace. This is this is who I am in Christ. Right. United. Right. United with, all right? I'm a part of, mm -hmm. all right? When I do my hands like right now, 
My hands are what? They're seven. Mm -hmm. But when I do them like this, they become what? Wow. United. Not only are they united, but they're also joined, right? right? They're not separate anymore, right? Mm -hmm. When when I became a Christian, when I became a disciple of Jesus Christ, I, I became united and joined to Christ, not temporary, not for a time period, but I'm with Christ for wait a second. Forever. First Corinthians, uh, first Corinthians six, a friend of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of so-called friends. I got a lot of supposedly friends. But all the friends I got, whatever category they fit in, there's no greater friend Amen. than to have a friend Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, he won't betray you. He won't lie on you. Mm -hmm. He won't tell you what you told him. I love him. Uh, it's an honor yes, it is. to be called a friend of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, you cannot be a friend of Jesus if you're not a friend of mankind. All right. Yeah. All right. You can't if you're not a friend to everybody in here, watch this. You can't be a friend of Jesus. Amen. 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 Right? That's right? Because how we defend the, how we demonstrate our ability to be a friend to him, we gotta be a friend to his yeah. friend. Yeah. And since I'm his friend, you gotta befriend me. Amen. Right? Now, there is a friend, hello somebody, that sticketh closer than a bro. Right. Now, I'm going to say this, and some of y'all may not understand what I'm going to tell you. But sometimes, it, it varies. There are some friends that are, brother, that are better than brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 You know what I said? Now, there are some biological brothers, biological sisters, but there are some friends that you can count on more so than you can your own biological family. That's right. That's right. Amen. And so Jesus is our friend. And so long as we are friends to him, we are in good shape. Yeah. Amen. Because we have clout. Because we are friends with him. Amen. Now, I had a call. Uh, one of my members from Redville uh, called me and asked me about a suit. And they said, well, do you know anybody? So I said, go over there to ESW. And I said, when y'all get there, I'm going to call the man. And I'm going to tell him that I know y'all. And that y'all were members of my church. And they left out of there with two suits, two pair of shoes, two ties, and two shirts for the price of one. Uh -huh. Not bragging. Just, just you, when, you, when you know the right folks. Uh -huh. See, what I'm trying to tell you, when you're a friend of Jesus, he'll open up doors. Amen. And nobody else can open up. Amen. See, favor is not fair. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Hello, Amen. somebody. There is some benefits from being a friend of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He'll get you in places that you ain't supposed to be. He'll, oh, yeah. he'll, he'll fix it up where you can talk to folk who ordinarily wouldn't even, wouldn't even speak to you when they by if you're a friend to him. Amen. And when you're a friend to him, the devil knows you're his friend, and he has to be careful how he handles you because he knows that you are a friend of God. Amen. Amen. Abraham was called a friend. That's the highest compliment that any man can get is that when God claims him, as a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Now, God is just like us. We don't call every, they're, 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 everybody not my friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm trying to be sister, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not, I'm not trying to downgrade. But everybody that's smiling in my face is not my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that pats me on the back is not my friend. Yeah. Everybody that wishes me well is not yeah. my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We already established a friend stick is closer than a brother. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something else about a real friend. A real friend will tell you when you're wrong. Amen. 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 Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. If your friend that you got, they never told you, because there's been some times when you were wrong. Yeah. If they never told you you were wrong, you got to find some new friends. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. So we, 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 we are joined to Christ forever. And I, I don't know how, how to describe it. It's too, it's, it's too long to even describe. It's, it's just what it says for you. First Corinthians. And all of this is in your folder. If you look on that sheet of paper, I think that last sheet of paper, or the next to that, all these scriptures, I didn't, I didn't read all this because that, that'll give you something to read when you get home. Amen. So like school is starting now, I bet you they already start giving them homework. <laughs> well, if they haven't, they need to. Always <laughs> started on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. So, you, know, you got to do the good people. So we're united. 
and nine that means we've got every disciple <coughs> ought to be together. Amen. Together we stand. Glad we fall. See, let me just let me say this about together. White church, black churches, whatever. If the church can become united, I'm talking about all of us. All right. Amen. I'm talking about all of us together to be Christian. If we can just find a way to get beyond our differences, which are so minute, because we serve in the same thing. Amen. We serve, we recognize the same God. If we can get together and join forces, we can really put the devil out of it. Amen. 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 And Amen. he knows that. Amen. And you know what he does? He creates situations where we can never come together. Amen. Race, creed, beliefs, doctrines, insignificant, irrelevant things. We're torn apart about these things. So therefore, we can't come together and unite with one. It's one of the most segregated hours of the week is on 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. But we say we're all Christians. Mm -hmm. Right? So if we can ever get together, we can give the devil. But that ain't going to happen. You know why? Because the devil ain't going to allow it to happen. Right? Right. He's not going to allow it to happen because he knows if we were together, we'd be a force to reckon. We already are a force to reckon with. But we would be a bona fide force to reckon with. Go ahead. I'm able to accomplish whatever God asks me to do. Or, let me ask you a question. Are you willing? Mm -hmm. Are you Amen. prepared? Are you ready mm -hmm. to do what God asks you to do? Amen. You have to think about it. Did I didn't hear a whole lot of response. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm talking tired time. I'm asking you, are you ready to do what God as you do. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, Brother Dobson was having a conversation about the book of Revelation. He asked when I was going to finish the book of Revelation. I was talking to him about some things. And I said, well, you know, God gave us enough to learn without giving us any more because we're still stumbling over what he gave us. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we said, we said all y'all said resoundingly, that you're, you're ready and you're able and willing to do what God asks you to do. But have you ever thought about there's a lot of things that God has told us to do we yet have not done? That's, That's right. right. He told us to love one another. Yeah. yeah. And we haven't accomplished that yet. Amen. Hello, somebody. He told us to get along with one another. Yeah. Right. And we have not accomplished that. Amen. He told us not to walk in darkness and to walk in the light, and we have not yet accomplished that. And when I say that, I'm talking about wholeheartedly as the mm -hmm. body of Christ. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about a particular church or a particular congregation. I'm talking about wholeheartedly we have not accomplished that. Mm -hmm. But God makes us able to accomplish whatever. Let me see. Let me tell you this. Whatever God sends you to do, he'll qualify you to do it. All right. Amen. Amen. Not only will he qualify you to do it, but he will equip you to do it. All right. Right? God will never send you somewhere where his word won't sustain you where you are. Amen. I wish I had somebody. I remember when I first went to Great I was, I was, I was, I kept asking God, I said, Lord, why am I here? I said, what am I doing down here? What, why did you send me here? Why, I wanted to stay at home. I wanted, I, there was a church in Tyler. I wanted that church. It was around the corner for me, and I wanted it bad. I wanted it so bad that I was driven in my morning back. <laughs> And the Lord finally told me, I, took, I went back and forth with him. He said, this is where you're going to be. Uh -huh. All right. You might well get used to it. Because yeah. I'm going to shut every other door until you go. Amen. All right. Twenty-some years later, I'm here to report that I thank God. Amen. That he was steadfast Amen. in his command. Amen. Amen. If I had got that other situation, chances are I would probably had two or three different places before I got here. Amen. Amen. So, so. Whatever he asks me to do, I'm willing to do whatever whatever God asks me to do. I'm, I'm ready to do it. Right? Right. I, I can't say that with my case all my life. But whatever he asks me to do, I'm ready, I'm bold enough, I'm courageous enough, I'm prepared to do whatever he said because I know that he has my back. Because no weapon formed against me is going to hurt me. Amen. Uh, it, may not, it may create some hardship for me. Be doing what he asked me to do. It may put, get me put out, but I'm prepared at my age to do whatever he asked me to do. Mm -hmm. He's coming to do a court with me. I'm ready to do it. Yeah. 
Y'all want me to do it tonight? No. 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 Sometimes it gets you in trouble. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Pastor, how do you know when God asks you to do something, are you thinking about it your own self? How do you know if God is speaking to you? Yeah, are you just coming with God in your own self? Well, there are several ways to answer that. First of all, I know what God wants me to do because I read his word. That's the first thing. Then secondly, because I have his spirit on the inside of me, he speaks to me. And then I'm able to verify through my prayer that that's what God is wanting me to do. Because a lot of times when God puts something on my heart, uh, in my mind, sometimes, a whole lot of times, I want to go contrary mm -hmm. to what he said. If he says go left, I'm thinking I want to go right. Mm -hmm. And then I pray about it, and then the Lord reveals it to me that it's time for me to go the opposite yeah. direction. So to answer that question through his word and by virtue of the fact that I have his spirit and that I'm sort of like that song said, he's constantly on my mind. Yeah. Okay? Good question. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Did you say something? Okay. <laughs> Man, what I know that God wants me to do is through his word. Amen. He told me to serve. Right? He told me to follow. He told me to give up myself and come out to him and all these things, and so I'm prepared to do that. I'm prepared to love those who don't love me. I'm prepared to love those who hate me. I'm prepared to love those who talk about me. Because here's the thing I love about people talking about me. That means I'm doing something. Amen. I'm excited when, whether it's good talk or bad talk or whatever, I'm excited when folks take time out of their schedule mm -hmm. to make me the topic of their subject, <laughs> of their conversation. That means I'm doing something to disturb them to the point it's worth talking about. Because folk ain't talking about folk that ain't doing nothing. Amen. Amen. When Burger King gets ready to talk about something, they don't talk about the burger, huh? Miss Sally's uh, burger and fry. They talk about McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they talk about McDonald's? Because McDonald's is on the level where they are. <laughs> they don't know about Miss Burger, Miss Sora, with her burger, huh? She's not on the same level. So, so able to accomplish Whatever, not able to accomplish what we see in this instant, we got to get out of self. Right. Amen. See, that's our biggest stumbling block yeah. is doing what self want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, if I did what self want to do, this church would be able to do a whole lot of things. If I did what I wanted to do, self did. And I can't go by what self. I got to go by what he told me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? Well, this church belongs to who does this church belong to? Oh, God. God. Praising 
I know somebody. And then when you think can't come on, the phone rings again. And you find out you start off right here and stuff and just piling, piling, yeah. piling, 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 piling. Somebody wondering why you ain't lost your mind. You know why you ain't lost your mind? Because you can do all things. Come on, somebody. Right. Y'all gonna make me preach that. You can do all <laughs> things in him that strengthens you. Amen. Yeah, amen. So stop talking about what you can't do, right? Stop complaining about when things happen. Some of your blessings is tied to the things that's happening to you. Amen. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. Right. Amen. Right. The more you get from the Lord, the more he requires from you. Amen. Just like your job. The more they pay you on your job, the more assignments they're going to put on you. Mm -hmm. One thing I learned about in the post office, I learned to play dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because when I found out, when I first got there, I would be doing this, and people, what, what, what they would do, the more you could do, the more they put on you. That's right. So they said, well, Lord, you know that? Well, I don't know. I ain't never did that before. Because when nobody else don't want to do it, guess who they come? They come to the person with the least amount of friction, the least amount of confrontation, and they'll have you doing nine other folk jobs while they sitting over there playing on the wall doing nothing. So I, I, learned, how not to, I learned how to be dumb. Well, you're a character pastor. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed. Now, people are guaranteed this. And I, I was saying this about buying cars. You know, people, you can go in these dealerships and buy these cars, and they just pat you, and they just love you, and they just eat you up, Mr. Russell, Mr. Russell. You can go back that next day. I'll get them off that car that next day. They act like they don't know you. Amen. 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 Have y'all ever had that experience? Amen. Right back to the same salesman that you bought that car from. What's your name? Well, I'm the same guy who bought that car from you yesterday. But in Christ, we have a guarantee. Now, some of these guarantees then went to what, what the ink is written on, right? Because right. first thing they say, well, yeah, you got a guarantee, but did you read? Did, did you read? Fine, fine print. <laughs> Over in calls number five, did you read where it says such and such and such and such? No, I didn't, I didn't read that. Well, yeah, Mr. Russell is right there. Right there. Well, you should have told me that when you, when you told me it was guaranteed. Because I'm not afraid with the assurance that whatever happened to it, I'm going to be all right. Amen. All right? See, I was, I was so dumb one time, I bought a truck from down from Tyler, Tyler Ford Place, and I was too dumb to know that I used to thought that the air conditioner, you know, back in the day, y'all might remember when you bought a car, the air conditioner didn't come, you know, especially if you bought a truck, it wasn't automatically in the deal. And I was just negotiating and negotiating, and then when I got home, I realized I didn't have no air conditioning in my car. <laughs> but in the process of them trying to stick me, I don't know somebody, they end up sticking themselves. Because I got the reading in the contract, and the contract said right there in big letter, air conditioning. Uh -oh. <laughs> So I went back to me and said, oh, no, 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 you, this truck don't come. And I said, no, nah, it may not. It may not. You may be right about that, sir. But read this line right here. <laughs> he said, well, we still ain't. I said, okay, that's fine. I picked up the phone. I called Ford Motor Credit. I said, I tell you what, where y'all want me to park the truck? And do y'all want me to bring it to y'all or y'all want to come get it? <laughs> but one way I'm getting it back to y'all. So he made a call. Next thing I know, I had an air conditioner and $500. Yes. See, sometimes when you're so busy trying to stick others, you'll stick yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Guaranteed that God works for my good in, in all life. It said, all things Hello, somebody, work together. simultaneously in sync, works together for the good, for my, what? For the good of those, those, for those. Who are those? Those who are in Christ. Right. Right? right. right? It works together for the good. By the way, brother, brother Ben, thank you for that pie. My wife said it was just, you know, all the in. She said, you put some ingredients in there that, that nobody else. And she just ate and ate and ate. <laughs> you, 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 you worked it all together for the good. <laughs> Hello, somebody. So for the good, though, who are in what? Right. So the bad. I wish I had a mixing bowl, but I don't. I'm going to see what <laughs> The bad, the good, the indifference, the hardship, the trials, the tribulation, yes. the good times, the bad times, all of us in that. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna take, I'm simulating. I ain't gonna use an automatic blender. I'm gonna use one of those. Hand hand. 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 You know, it's on that wood thing, you yeah. like this, and you just kind of. Yeah. I know if you if you're under 50, you may not remember that, but if you're over 50, y'all remember that because you didn't probably use one. Yeah. Yeah. And then what that does, it blends it all together. Yeah. So when it all comes out, you can't distinguish one or the other because it all blended in. All so right. for everything that happens in the life of a disciple, everything that happens in the life of a Christian, all work together yeah. for my Good. Come on, somebody. I'm going to say it again. All that work together for my good. Mine. Little salt and pepper. I lost somebody. Little chili pie. All these things is working for my good. good. So I don't want God to leave out nothing because sometimes if you leave out the wrong ingredient, the, the, whatever you're cooking don't turn out right. Right. Mine, man. Now, if you cook a cake without any baking powder, it may not rise. <laughs> What is that? It used to be Cloud Girl? Mm -hmm. They still make Cloud Girl? Yes. We used to take it and put it on a spoon and put it in our mouth so I can dip it snuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all I, I was a character. Y'all don't remember doing that? Nobody don't remember doing some Cloud Girl? No. no. <laughs> y'all lost in Cloud Girl games. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all working together for the good. All, all righteousness because every experience that he had since the calling of Christ, his good times, the snake bites, the shipwreck, all of these things, all the same, I know for a fact that it all work for the good. Amen. It, 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 it will jettison you from where you are to where Christ wants you to be. Every experience that I have, every experience that I have is defined by you know what I'm saying? Every experience helps me to grow. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Am I talking to somebody? I said every experience that I have helps me to grow. Amen. Especially if I approach it with the right perspective instead of complaining about it. Lord, thank you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <coughs> Lord, thank you. Right? When my car don't act wrong, Lord, thank you. When I wake up in the morning, the phone rings, Lord, thank you, right? Because I know that you're doing a work in me because you're allowing me to go through these things to perfect me and get me to what you need me to be. So all these things are working for the good of them that are called according to his purpose. That's qualified. It's not good for everybody. Only for those who are called according, according for his purpose. Amen. Okay? Yeah. This doesn't apply to everybody. Right. It only applies to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. What is his purpose? It's for us to do glorify. his will. To glorify. To glorify. That's part of doing his will. Okay? Any questions? All right, go ahead. A citizen. Now, I live, I reside, earthly wise, in Tower, Texas. I ain't gonna get my address. I, I did that one before. I'm gonna stop doing the call. Somebody might show up my house. I didn't like it. Amen. <laughs> but I'm a citizen of Tyler, Texas. Amen. 757, I'll just tell you my zip 04. I've been here all my life. Right? I'm a citizen. This is my earthly home. But I have another home. Amen. All right. How many of y'all know you got another home? Amen. Amen. I got a mansion. We. we there you go. Go ahead and claim it. It's yours. Go ahead. It's yours. Don't, you don't have to be uh, hesitant about it. But I'm a citizen of heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought, I thought since we went through this Sunday school lesson last week and, and the ones coming up, I thought I would get a round of applause when I told you that we all, those of us who are saved, who die in the law, we are citizens okay. of heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Right? And we know that heaven is not an ordinary place. Right. It is a place of space. It is extraordinary. Amen. Right? Amen. The streets are paved with gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walls of jasper. Mm -hmm. Are y'all praying with me? Amen. Amen. Tree there for the good of the healing of the nation. Thrones all around. I'm a citizen of heaven. 
Amen. Yeah. I'm only here for a little while. Yeah. Right. I didn't come here to stay. Yeah. Right? I, I didn't come here to stay. Because right. I know that one of these days I gotta leave here. But it's alright to move if you got somewhere to go. Right. Amen. All right. Now unlike earthly movement, when you have to pack all your junk up. I used to hate the move. When my daughter was in college, it was like every week we move her in the dorm, out of the dorm. She get it, she had she loved, she'd always find a cheap apartment and she stayed here six months. She found out when the lease is up, it's two. We moved real across town. Then when they rent went back down, the next time she left, she moved back over there where she was. <laughs> right, Trina? And so I finally told her, look, I'm, I'm 50 some years old. You about to get a movie company. Because <laughs> I'm tired of up and down these stairs. I can't do it no more, right? right. But see, when I, get, when I get to heaven, I ain't going to have to move no more. Mm -hmm. huh? I ain't got to pick up my car. I ain't got to have my car shipped in. Because I'm leaving all this stuff for somebody else to fight about. Right. Amen. Right? That's why I said, God, I'm over that great Jehovah. Hello, yeah. somebody. Bill going through this barren land. I have a home on high. Yeah. All right. How can can I prove that? Yes, I can prove it. If you, you don't you want to turn, but in St. John uh, 14, the more it says, let not my heart be troubled. It said my heart, it said, let not your heart be troubled. But I put me in that. And I uh, because ye believe in God. Hello, somebody. Anybody right. believe in God? Right. Right. Can we believe, believe also in me. Amen. Here's the, part that, here's the part that corresponds to this. In my father's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? A many mansions. Now, I don't live in, now, y'all do know the difference of a shack and a mansion, right? Right. Oh, yeah. I live in a pretty nice house. Not bad, but I live in a pretty nice But it don't compare to a mansion. Right. Uh, in my father's house, Mm -hmm. How many of them? Many. One, many. Two? Many. Three? Many. Five? Many. Ten? Many. One hundred? Many. Okay. I ain't going to win that child. I ain't going to win that child. He said, in my father's house, a many mansion, if it were not so, I would not have told you. Right. right. I wouldn't have lied to you. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have you know, misled you, right? He said, but I'm going... What I'm going to do? Prepare a place. He said, I, I'm going. Who said that? Who, who's talking? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus said, I'm going. Yeah. Where are you going, Jesus? Where are you saying going? To prepare yeah. a place. What kind of? To prepare a place. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's some work got to be done. Right. Uh -huh. Right? You just can't show up there. Jesus said, I'm going to have, I'm going to do the preliminary work. Hello, somebody. So that when it's time for you to come, mm -hmm. I'll be able to receive you, right? Right. Uh -huh. How, how many of you, let me see how many, when you know company is coming, maybe you don't clean all the time, but you know company is coming, right? Yeah. Uh, come on, y'all, come on, come on, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people is not as tidy as another, but you get to call the company is coming, now you sweat and run and putting stuff up on the other stuff and <laughs> hiding stuff in the cabinet because you don't want to clean that stuff in the cabinet and, until, you get, until your guest is gone, right? Because you don't want your guest to come to your house and catch your work undone. Right. Amen. Amen. Show me all know what I'm talking about. Show me all. Yeah. Show me all. All right. Ain't cleaning days. Just <laughs> clothes everywhere. You, instead of you just making a spot, you, just, you got clothes here, clothes there. And a couple of that doorbell ring, you keep looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, so he says, I'm going to prepare a place. Yeah. Right? Amen. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. For prepared people. Amen. 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 You ain't going to get to heaven unless you prepare. Right. Amen. Amen. Ain't going to be no slip in, no coming to the back door, none of that kind of stuff. Yeah. I used to be smart and go to the movies. And when I didn't want to pay for all the movies, <laughs> what I do is when they're going to go out, I'd go in and sit in the other one. Yeah. Hello, somebody. <laughs> that way I can get to see all the movies for the price of one admission. Amen. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Pastor, <laughs> between that and the post, I have quite a clue. Right, right, right. Thank God for redemption. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point. See, some of y'all don't want to be real. Some of y'all want to feel like y'all been all this, and you ain't never done this, and you ain't never done that. But that's not true. Amen. 
Because you got your own version of what you've done. Right. Amen. I'm sharing mine. You ain't ever told me about yours. Maybe you will at some point. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm a citizen of heaven. Amen. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me read that. that, that three, 3 and 20. 3 and 20. Read it. Yeah. Read it. Well, our citizenship is in heaven. Our right. citizenship is where? In heaven. Yeah. Read on. Which also we eagerly. Eagerly. Anybody eager about it? Oh, yeah. Right. When you're eager about something, you can't wait on it. Right. right. Can't wait. I remember being a little boy at Christmas. We didn't get a whole lot. But I believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all didn't? <laughs> <laughs> How about any of y'all? And I couldn't sleep at night because I was eat. Just what he said. What he said. Eat. What is it? Eat. Eagerly. 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 Uh, yeah. Waiting mm -hmm. on that big jolly fella. Uh, I never saw it. I'd wait up as long as I could. I never saw him come down no chimney. I finally figured out that the jolly guy was already looking, living with me. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't about to go down no chimney at all. We know. Go ahead, we know. That's, right. That's it. So we eagerly wait because Amen. we found out Sunday what heaven is all about. Amen. In heaven there's no more disturbance. Right. In heaven there's no more sin. Everybody there is going to be perfect. Citizens. Ain't going to be no taxes to pay. County taxes to pay, Amen. no residential tax, no HOW -O housing allowance and all that. When I get to heaven, everything's going to be free. Amen. Amen. Guess what? It's all been paid for. Yeah. There you go. Through the courtesy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. who shed his blood on a hill called Golgotha, who died like a slave, but yeah. raised up like a king. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. Go ahead. And since I was such a sure, somebody said sure. Sure. sure, that God will complete the good works he has begun in the Philippians. Since you already in Philippians, go Philippians 6 if you will. 1 and 6. 1, I mean 1 and 6. <laughs> sure, <coughs> sure of that God. Anybody sure about God? Amen. Yes. Is there anybody here sure about God? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Then what he's going to do, he will come. See, God never starts nothing that he doesn't complete. Amen. Now, I'm guilty. I'm the world's worst when it comes to starting stuff sometimes and not completing it. But anything the Lord starts, you can rest assured he's going to complete it. Amen. Right? Right? Amen. I thank God that because if he would start off saving me and then complete it, I'd be halfway saved. Mm -hmm. Right? Read that. Read that. Philippians 1 and 6. Somebody. 1 and 6? Yes. Being confident of this very thing. Being what? Confident. Being what? Confident. Confident. Right. No, I'm for sure. Hold on. Being confident. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Somebody. Sure. Anybody. Being what does sure. that mean? Sure. Being sure. confident. Being sure. Being sure. Being sure. Yeah. When you're confident about something, you don't have no questions about it, right? Right. You don't have no doubt about what you're confident about, right? Amen. Being confident, we don't. That he, uh oh, yeah. Start again, start again when you start at the beginning. Okay, that sir. he which had begun. No, go ahead, go ahead, brother. No, uh, no. Read it again, just read it, start it. Verse 1, again. Verse 6, read it, start it again. Confident of this very thing. Of this very thing. That he which has began a good work in you. Uh-huh. Will perform it until okay. the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. He which is God of Christ, who then began a good work in you. Mm -hmm. will complete it in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because there is a scripture in Ephesians that says he has created us under good works. Mm -hmm. God did not put us here to just sit dormant. Mm -hmm. God didn't just put us here because he needed more folks. He put us here for a purpose. Amen. And every one of us have a purpose in this life. Mm -hmm. Now, I've told you this before. You will never feel complete. You will never feel fulfilled till you find out what your purpose is. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, Pastor, you introduced that to me now. Since you told me that, can you explain to me how and when and where, how can I know God's purpose? He asked a question there. Uh, it's kind of similar that can be asked about this. How will I know 
what God's purpose is in my life. Again, you have to talk to him about it. Yeah. But then we know that some things, some of the purpose that, that he has for our lives is defined in his word. Mm. It is his will that none should pass. That's uh -huh. part of it. That all might have eternal life. Uh -huh. It is his will that all of us are following. That's a part of our purpose. But I'm telling you, if you really want to know what God wants you to do, you got to have a talk with him. Mm. You gotta take time out, get out on your knees. And you may have to be like Gideon. You know, when the Lord spoke to Gideon, then Gideon said, Yeah, I get what you're saying, God, but I need you to prove to me. And I, I need you to tell, you know, I, I, I trust you, but I can can you make that ground win and, and, and this the, and, and Gideon did a lot a couple of times he said to the Lord. The Lord did all that because he wanted to be sure that this is what God wanted him to to do. Now, whatever you've done for the Lord, you better make sure that that's what the Lord wants you to do. Because it's hard enough when the Lord says it. All right. I tell every preacher, if you can stop, if you can keep a preacher, don't. Why would you tell him? Why would you do that, Brown? Why would you discourage somebody who said the Lord called it? Because if he really called you, you can't get away. Amen. 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 But the Bible said it's better not to Gather yeah, hold to the gospel plot and turn around and look back. Because any man that gather yeah, hold to the gospel plot and turn and look back, he ain't fit for the kingdom. Yeah. So if you can keep him doing what, what you think God is saying, you know, if he's really your call, he's going to manifest it. Yeah. Uh, right? Okay, so, so sure that, that he, will, he created us for good work. God wants us to be busy doing productive things. Yeah. Not running around being messy. I know that was special. Yeah. Busy body. Yeah. Amen. Knowing everybody's busy and Amen. don't know what's happening in the back room of your house. Right. Amen. Amen. All right. But you see everybody, you see the brown man, the black man, the post office man, you see everybody else, going to everybody else's house, but you don't know your back door is open and standing open. Uh -huh. God created us for good work. He has a purpose. And when we really do the work that God has sent us, our lives are fulfilled. Amen. It, it, brings, it brings fulfillment that money can't bring. It brings fulfillment that power can't bring. When you're really in the will of God, I tell you, you have perfect peace. I mean, you just, you just, you, you just, I mean, you, nothing really phases you because you know you're doing the will of your father and you know that he got your back and you just feel complete. You don't be looking in this and trying to do this and trying to find joy in that, trying to find fulfillment in that. I build me a new house, I buy me a new car, I win the lot, I do all these things, but I just, I keep getting, I keep getting, but I'm still missing something, right? Yeah. But when I get Jesus and understand his purpose in my life, then I'm fulfilled and I don't have a desire for all these other things. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can save myself a whole lot of money, a whole lot of time, and a whole lot of headache. Because guess what? I'm in the plan. I'm doing his will. He created the good work in me. He going to see it to the end. He going to make sure I complete what he started in me. Amen. Okay. Any questions about any of that? What time is that? I'm going to make sure I'm going to Okay. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to just feel the comments and questions. Let me, let me say this about questions. I, I appreciate the courage of these people who ask the questions. I appreciate your courage. Because some people don't want to ask questions because they may, they may think that somebody may think they don't know that. But the question that you're going to ask, somebody else might want to know the answer. Amen. But they may not ask. That, that, so if there are any questions, because I, I, I really need for y'all to get this. I want you to be strong and bonafide, equipped and courageous disciples. Because guess what? If you're not equipped and you go out into the battlefield and you're not equipped, guess what? The devil will defeat you. Because Amen. Amen. I can assure you that he knows the word. Oh, yeah, he knows. The devil knows the word. Don't you think these people that don't go to church because they're sitting on the corner of Mars or some of these other places, they don't know the word. Amen. You run up there and go talk about the Bible and they'll shame you back to this church. Because there's some of them up there know it better. They know, they know it better than I do. Amen. Amen. I ain't ashamed to tell you, there are some of that annoy better than I do. But the only thing they do, they can, they can talk about it, but I can practice it. Amen. Amen. See, it ain't no good if you can just talk about it, but you don't put it in practice. So, so there ain't no silly questions, there ain't no dumb questions. Anybody got anything about any of this that we covered, any of this material that we've covered so far? Is there any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it's not a question, I just want to make a comment. Yes, sir. 
you always do a great job. God always uses you mightily. But brother, God used you as you met. Yes, yes, indeed. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I Thank you. Thank you. I was trying to do one of those Well, you know, I'm just a vessel to glorify God. Amen. And, and so today we're going to test it. I do the best I can every time I get up. Yes. Amen. Because I want, I want to make God look good. Because he told Joshua, if you make me look good everywhere you, you step your feet, I'll give it to you. So thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I, 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 I'm humble about that. I'm humble about that. I'm humble about that. Anybody else? Any questions? Anything pertaining to this? Okay, if not, then we will, uh, what is that? Rain, Rain Pastor. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. We do thank you. Thank you, Lord. For this group. Yes. Yeah. Our support. I thank you because they are die hard. Oh, yeah. Rain, sleet, or snow. They're always here. Oh, yeah. And I thank you for the call. Whatever it is that I'm doing, and I'll, I'll let you make that evaluation, God. But whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm doing it because I'm able to do it first and foremost because of you. Oh, yeah. But then these people do also pay a great part. Their support, their love, their giving, their participation, their interaction. So we all come to glorify you. We all yeah. come to give you prestige yeah. and glory. Thank you for the teaching ability. Thank you for the ability to be able to try to disseminate this information in a manner that folks can get it. Now bless us, those of us who are not standing for choir wrestle, bless us as we go out into the rain. Yeah. Help us not to be too excited and drive too fast yeah. and <laughs> run over somebody in the midst of this rain that we yes. can get. Lord. Help us to navigate based on the condition that we may be able to get back home safely. This is what we'll do when we get there. We'll say, thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. We'll say, praise the Lord. Yeah. And we'll say, God is good. Yeah. And everybody said, amen. Amen. And everybody said, amen. Amen. And everybody said, amen. 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 amen.